The new concept in farm tractors first took form here, on these drafting boards. Then the value of each new feature was proved by many months of continuous testing in the laboratory and proving grounds. Behind it all is an unusual engineering philosophy which the chief engineer will describe to us. Hello there. Engineering in action with Alice Chalmers might be called human engineering. Not only must we anticipate the various operations the machine is called upon to perform, but it uh, should also have built into it personal safety, ease of handling, perform increased operations, and do so at a reduction in cost to the owner. With this in mind, every part of an Alice Chalmers product is engineered to provide satisfactory service. With this brief introduction, let's see how the sales personnel will demonstrate the D14. The D14 also gives you the utmost in operator comfort. The seat with its two positions also tips up into a third position to keep it from collecting rainwater. The exclusive power director controlling eight forward speeds and two in reverse also lets you shift into high or low range on the go. This tractor, with its low line, high crop design, is new. It's different. It's better. Gentlemen, we give you the all new D14 tractor. To show how these features will add to capacity and convenience in your power farming, See how the tractor of tomorrow, the D-14, is being demonstrated all over the country. Your first look shows you the low-line, high-crop design with an overall height of only 4 feet 7 inches. And here again, the D-14 has something entirely new in tractors. A full 25 inches of crop clearance under the rear axle. There's plenty of room at the center line for the snap coupler hitch with its time-saving convenience. Plus all the advantages of free swinging implements pulled naturally from a single hitch point ahead of the rear axle. Yet with all this clearance, the D14 still has its platform only an easy step from the ground. There's no climbing up, no scrambling over rear-mounted implements. But this new low-line high crop design has still more to offer you. The long wheelbase provides plenty of stability and room for front-mounted cultivators, while still being able to step off or on without climbing over implement controls. Here is more comfort than you've ever seen in a farm tractor before. The long tractor wheelbase plus hydraulic dampening of the seat movement adds still more to easy riding. This center line seat lets you sit in either of two positions or stand on the safety platform. Low line with high crop design is new. It's different and it's better. One of the many features of tomorrow which can be yours today in a D14 tractor. A second completely new feature is this power director. Its three positions provide a new kind of power control. The power director is an oil smooth transmission clutch to control forward travel at any desired rate. It also provides a live power takeoff and a hydraulic system independent of tractor forward travel. This same lever also provides on-the-go shifting from high range into low. You pull it back for 30% less speed and 42% more pulling power. All on-the-go without shifting gears. Coupled with this instantaneous high or low range is a regular transmission, giving you a total of eight gear speeds forward and two in reverse. Here then, in brief, is the Alice Chalmers new power director system. 
It provides an oil transmission clutch to ease you forward at any desired speed with live power takeoff for the best in harvesting power. It also provides on-the-go shifting into a high range or low, plus eight speeds forward, from one and three-fifths miles an hour to almost 13. Another history-making D14 feature is the roll shift front axle. Let's adjust the left front wheel step by step. Turn the steering wheel to the left. Remove the center bar bolt and place it in the spindle arm hole. Loosen the nut on the center stud. Turn the steering wheel to the extreme right until the desired width is obtained. Replace the center bar bolt. Tighten the nut on the center stud. Then tighten the center bar nut. Loosen the left hand tie rod clamp and turn the steering wheel to the left until the proper mark appears on the tie rod. Retighten the tie rod clamp and return the wheel to the straight ahead position. Roll shift front axle combined with the original power shift rear wheels means the right tread for every job with no jacks and no lifting. And it's completely safe. It's one more feature of tomorrow, which can be yours today. Well, now that we've had a close look at a few of the D14's years ahead features, let's see this great new tractor in action. Here's full three plow capacity, over 4,000 pounds of weight, coupled with this completely new power crater engine, designed exclusively for the D14, and under rigorous testing since 1953 to reach a new high in fuel economy and long life. Of course, there's a traction booster system to provide added weight to the rear wheels automatically as needed for traction. And now, the new range selector lets you set the amount of hydraulic weight transfer and leave it set. It's completely independent of raising or lowering the implement. Watch how this works at the end of the field. Without touching the range selector, you can lift the plow, make your turn, and drop the plow back into the ground again, all without changing your traction booster setting. But when soil or job conditions change and you want more or less weight transfer, you can change the range of action anytime, on the go, without delay or complication. Now let's do a little power takeoff harvesting, D14 style. You start the power takeoff line with the foot operated master clutch. At this point, your power director is in neutral, so your tractor remains stationary, while D14 power winds up the harvester. Then we'll ease the power director forward, giving a smooth, easy start in any gear we choose. If there's a tough spot, we can flip the power director back into low range cutting our rate of travel 30%. If the going gets really tough, we can ease the lever toward neutral from either low range or high, easing our forward travel to a crawl or stopping it completely, all without affecting power takeoff speed. At cultivation time, low line, high crop design really comes into its own. 
you're only a step from the ground. Yet there's plenty of clearance to lay by tall crops. For turning, a touch of the power director cuts forward speed so you can turn around easily and safely. Let's take a closer look at the cultivator itself. Here's the latest in simplicity and clear vision. The whole operation is in your natural line of sight, with no head bobbing to see where you're driving and what the gangs are doing. When cultivation is done, the gangs slip right off and you roll them into storage just like a wheelbarrow. Roll-in mounting is just as simple. Let's go through it from beginning to end and see how easy it is. Lift the cultivator into position. Engage the lug. Insert the wedge pin. Drive the lock down to hold the side frame into position. Attach the tension link to the lug. Then give a light turn with a hand and hook the front lift rods to the lift bar. When using a side dressing attachment, there are no complications since the big new fiberglass fertilizer hoppers are carried on the rear toolbar. The whole outfit goes on minute quick with a snap coupler hitch. Filling the fertilizer hoppers is far easier than ever before. And they're semi-transparent, so you can see when your supply is running low. Big news for all Alice Chalmers owners who now have older model tractors and implements is the way the D14 tractor with its snap coupler hitch and hydraulic system is able to handle many of the implements designed for the WD or WD45 tractors. With the D14, a transport control valve is optional equipment for use with heavy remote ram implements. Here are all the advantages of the traction booster system and the snap coupler hitch, plus implement transport wheels to assure tractor stability during lifting and transporting. This teamwork with mounted implements means new cultivating convenience. Plenty of tillage power, adaptability of heavy tools, and quick conversion for dirt moving and other chore jobs. And that, folks, is the D14 story. Except for one very important point. The dollars and cents cost to you for all this extra D14 value. For that, let's return for a moment to the Alice Chalmers factory, to one of a group of men whose decisions save you hundreds of dollars today in this tractor of tomorrow. Tractor values today depend a good deal on engineering, research, and manufacturing methods. You've seen some of these features in the D14, which is truly the tractor of tomorrow. Now I wish to show you a few scenes from the shop which bring you all of these extra features at a reasonable cost. Here, for an example, is one of the seven single-purpose machines whose sole purpose is to machine precisely the many bores and surfaces on the D14 torque tube. Alice Chalmers has made a large investment in special factory equipment for just one purpose, to make a better and more useful tractor and yet keep the cost to you as low as possible. That's why the Dynamic D14, a new concept in tractor design, is also a new high in value per dollar. That's why it's tomorrow's tractor ready for you today.